Afternoon again, guys. Welcome back to Don Amots. I'm James from Sales. This afternoon, we've just had come up this Swift Voyager 564. Four traveling, four berth, 7.71 meters, and it's on the four cab. Let's have a ganders. So, it's the two litre diesel, 160 brake horsepower, manual, six speed. Lovely looking van, you've got the grey cab, obviously with the decals that follow it back as well. Let's have a bit of a look around, shall we? PowerPoint, gas bottles, toilet set. On the back of it, we've got your bike rack fitment and also your reversing camera as well. Yeah. On the side, you've got your water filler and then he says, because this looks like a really big space. Yeah, it is, that's huge. So that goes under your French bed. Yeah. So in there, we've got bits and bobs at the moment, but traditionally you could fit all chairs, barbecue, loads of gubbins in there. Mm -hmm. Truma heating exhaust, and then your fridge vents. Let's have a gander inside. So after you, Wendy. Okay. If we start at the cab, so it's your Ford cab, like I said, six speed, manual. Now you've got your big infotainment screen on there. So within that, you have all the likes of your satellite navigation, reversing camera, Bluetooth for your mobile phone, which also includes streaming music from Spotify, iTunes, what have you. Um, and you also have digital radio, your DAB. You do have USB connection, so you can charge up through that as well. Climate control underneath with air conditioning. And then on the steering wheel, you've got multifunction steering wheel, so radio controls and phone controls, but also including your cruise control as well. So, it's all right. So, as you can see, the, the seats are captain's chairs, so they both spin round to enlarge your lounge even further. Yeah. Underneath both your bench seats here, you do have seats that come up. So that's where it's the four belters here, the two at the front, and then two under here as well. Massive storage lockers overhead, all with shelves in. And you've also got the storage above the driver and the passenger with that lovely skylight, gosh, uh, with that lovely skylight as well. Now the table is folded in half at the moment. That can fold out double and it can also move round as well. It's all electric, so if we just turn all our machinery on, mm -hmm. If I just watch out the way there, Wendy, sorry. He says, well, I'm probably just pressing the... Yeah, I don't, I think we need to be plugged in. Um, so that's my fault. But as you can see, the table can lower and raise. And that also gives you the base of your bed as well. So your buttons on there. Now that leads us onto our kitchen. Lovely fitted kitchen. I love the two-tone design on it as well. Cupboards all the way round. Really big cupboards, actually, aren't yeah. they? They're huge. Yeah. And they've got your solar panel charger just in the top of there as well, your Truma. Yeah. Three hob with electric hot plates and your oven and grill as well. Now, in here, I always like these because these are massive. Mm -hmm. Loads of room underneath your sink. Super. Then behind, just up at the top, so we've got all your control panel, nice and easy to use, and then your Truma heating control panel just to the left of that as well. Massive fridge. Now, by the looks of it, so it's the fridge freezer, you can open this from both sides. Really nice feature. Beneath, big drawer there as well. Now this is a blind. Just gives you that bit of privacy if there's multiple people in here as well. So if I swap places with you, Wendy, yeah. big French bed, lovely space, cupboard straight above, and you've got your massive side window as well. Clever storage here. Really clever. Look mm. at that. And, mm. a, and TV. TV point above. What have we got in here? Gosh, even more shelves. Yeah. Massive. And you'll be able to access your outdoor storage from under the bed as yeah. well. So if we lift that, that's where we looked through from the outside earlier. And you've got your boiler in there as well. Wonderful. Now, 
if you go through there, thank you. So it's a massive shower and toilet as well. So massive room, cupboards in there. Or toothbrush, hair, toothbrush, hairbrush. It's not like I need a hairbrush, but still, <laughs> loads. Really nice layout. Lovely layout, to be fair. It's the first one I've seen, and I think I really like this. It looks really classy. It looks really smart. All with the gloss finish and the two tone. It's like a slate finish on the floor down there as well, which is really yeah, it is nice. It's really different. It just adds that touch of class. Um, obviously, if you want any more details, give me a shout. I'm James. If you have any further questions, let me know. Otherwise, it'll be on our showroom, show ground, sorry, this afternoon. You're more than welcome to come and have a look at it. See you soon.